hope you're all doing really well and thank you so much for joining me for today's vlog. Bertie is just making himself comfortable on the bed. It is such a dog's life, isn't it? Um, my hair was so greasy this morning. Um, so this morning I've had the nicest shower. I did a full body exfoliation. I actually haven't moisturized. I forgot to do that. Um, but I used the Neon Scrub and now, oh my God, it smells so good. And then I've washed my hair, blow dried it, and I feel like a new woman. One of my favorite things in life is after a shower to put clean pajamas on to get ready in. I just love that. Don't worry, I'm actually gonna put some clothes on in just a minute. Tonight, I'm going to an exciting event. I'm going to the premiere of a new Sky film called Marlow. It's got Liam Neeson, Diane Kruger in, and I'm actually just gonna get the full the full description of the film. Available on Sky Cinema and at the cinema as well. So it's set in a very elegant era of the 1930s and it's a crime thriller in old Hollywood. I'm immediately sold. I love both of those things. And in the film, Liam Neeson plays a private detective who um, he's hired to find the ex-lover of glamorous heiress, Diane Kruger. So, I'm really looking forward to this. I love all of Liam Neeson's films. I love that 90s, 30 era where it's super, very kind of old school glamour. I'm really looking forward to watching the film. Um, so yes, that is tonight. And then tomorrow I will give you the lowdown and my thoughts on the film. I am dressed now and the sun has just come out. I'm just actually going on Met Office to see how long is it gonna stay out for? Because is it worth? putting a load of washing and hanging it outside. It's gonna rain at three, no. Anyway, so little sneak peek at a new little jacket, or kind of cardi jacket. Got some new bits from Zara, H&M, not loads, like just a few really nice new bits. But I'll show you those later in the vlog. I'll show you those tomorrow. And um, what I've actually just come downstairs to do is, oh my God, I'm sorry, ignore all the mess in the background, the house is a tip. I've got these really pretty flowers uh, to put in um, a vase and their color is so stunning, but loads of them are still closed. So I'm really excited for them like all to bloom. How gorgeous are these flowers? They're so, beautiful i usually stick to um like pastel colors or whites with flowers but it's so nice actually to have something different they like they're so bright and i find like flowers just make you smile don't they they're so gorgeous i did actually try to put them in this vase but they just weren't working this vase is really hard to use as a vase because obviously everything just naturally kind of flops to either side and you're left with a bit of a gap in the middle. Um, the thing that I have found that works well in this vase is um, gypsophilia because it's quite bushy or like, uh, yeah, it kind of holds in, it kind of fills the whole top of the vase rather than individual stalks kind of flopping to the edge. These flowers were kindly sent by Lancome. And for the launch of the new La Vie Espel, um, this is the Iris Absolute perfume. It's their new variation of their iconic fragrance. <laughs> I've channeled as much inner 90s, 30s, 1930s glam as I can. Um, this hasn't been planned for ages. It's only been like, was yesterday. So it was like a quite a last minute outfit. When I had a quick Google of it, there's lots of kind of statement earrings, um, lots of like feathers and things. So I've gone with this jacket. This is from H&M. This jacket is unreal. I'll show you more tomorrow um, with some of the other new bits I've picked up. Also these earrings. These are actually also H&M. I bought these for holiday, didn't wear them. So I know it's quite extra, but I feel like it will work for tonight. Here's a better look in a full length mirror. But this skirt, I have got so much wear from already. I'm so glad I bought it. It was the best 30 pounds I've spent. And then I've just got it on with some black heeled boots. Um, yeah, I'm, 
I think I'm happy with tonight's outfit. I'm just showing you my outfit downstairs quickly because I think the lighting is better here. Um, so yeah, as I said, I'll show you tomorrow more of the really nice spring H&M bits I got, but I just feel like this jacket looks so much more expensive than it was. I actually put a poll out on my Instagram this afternoon um, saying like, what do you guys think of this jacket? And I think it was like 75% of you guys gave it a no. So <laughs> maybe not many of you will like this outfit. Um, but yeah, here, here is tonight's look. Friday morning. Um, I've woken up with some friends today. Um, oh, um, these have actually been brewing for a few days and I don't know why but usually I actually don't get any spots. Like I can't tell you the last time I had a spot. I'm really lucky. I don't know if it's my skin or what but I just usually don't get them. I haven't used any new products. It could have been something that I ate also, they did start to brew up literally the next, the day we got home from holiday. So I don't know if it was like just being on the aeroplane. I don't know. Anyway, they'll go down. But this was the first one that come up and that's kind of going down now. But that was like really red and agitated the other day. And I put this on it. Marlin and goats. 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 It's the sulfur paste. Forgot to put it on these ones last night, but when I put it on this one, it really like took the redness out of it and took it down. It basically dries it out, and that's exactly what it has done. So I'm going to be popping this on tonight. Anyway, spots aside, in this vlog, I wanted to show you our kitchen little updates because I did mention a few vlogs ago that we were repainting our kitchen. It's a subtle change, like it's a very subtle change, but I noticed the difference and I've got a few new bits for the kitchen. The kitchen also needs a good clean and tidy, so I thought we would do that first. I fancy something sweet and recently I got the Hotel Chocolat, the um, Velvetizer, and I'm loving it. I can see a new obsession coming on real quick. Um, I got this box with it, the everything selection box. So I got one of every flavor. I'm making my way through. Um, I'm actually gonna try the mint today because someone messaged me when I put this on my Instagram and said that the mint was their favorite. So I'm gonna try that. I feel like I've tried all my favorite ones so far. I've had, um, where's all the flavors? I've had salted caramel hazelnut praline. Uh, I've had the vanilla white and the milky. The ones that I've got left are a bit rogue. I've got ginger. I love ginger, but I'm not sure about that in a hot chocolate. Chili, again, love it, but maybe not in a hot chocolate. Orange, yes, I am down for trying that. I will try that one next. I'm not a huge lover of dark chocolate. I will have to put something 
sweet in there, I think. And also the classic. I put my milk in already. So you just pop your milk in and then, oh, they smell really minty. Pour in the chocolate flakes. And then lid on and turn on. Heats and whisks it all up to make a super velvety, as the name suggests, hot chocolate. Oh my God, it smells so minty from here. And also, it comes with these little cups, which I absolutely love. Right, I'm just gonna grab some makeup quickly and I'm gonna just put a little bit of makeup on while I drink my hot chocolate. These hot chocolates feel like such a treat. Before we sort out the kitchen, let us catch up on last night. So I went to the premiere of Marlowe, which is Sky TV's new film that comes out on Sky TV and in cinemas today, which is Friday the 17th of March. So that will be out when you watch this. So it's got Liam Neeson, Diane Kruger in, and also some other faces um, that I really recognized in the film. So the film is set in 1930s in Los Angeles. It's really like old school Hollywood glamour. Liam Neeson plays a character called Marlo, Philip Marlo, who is a private investigator and somebody hires him to look into uh, someone who they think has died but that person has actually seen them. So he's kind of investigating a missing person, um, like where is this person, what's going on and kind of whilst he's looking for this person and he ends up going down a bit of a rabbit hole with this investigation and gets caught in between a mother and daughter. Um, it was really good and I, I really enjoyed it and some of the main things I really enjoyed about it is was the wardrobe. All of the men wore suits with the trilby hats I think they're called. You know the the trousers are very like old school quite like a baggy trouser but they've all got shirts ties um jackets on you know trilby hats i love that the women looked incredible um diane kruger early on in the film wears this stunning white jumpsuit she looks so elegant lots of finger waves in the hair obviously a huge in the 1930s and another thing that i really liked about it was whenever you watch uh kind of investigative films nowadays they've all got they've always got so much technology and it feels quite far-fetched doesn't it like they're able to track down someone in like a second um it's very like high-tech fast moving whereas this because it was set in the 1930s there's absolutely no technology it's very like old school investigating um, and i really love that also the cars and the scenery was beautiful i really enjoyed it it's like watching an old hollywood movie um but obviously with up-to-date actors in it's not an intense super thriller it's more of like it's quite like an easy watching investigation film i really enjoyed it and also i got to see liam neeson in the flesh i can't believe it like you know just someone that you've watched on tv or like film for so many years and then there they are in the flesh i was a i was like oh my god um that is marlo and that is available now look at bertie like what is he doing with his legs he does this quite a lot he will sit like half in his bed, but then like <laughs> half legs out, ready to, ready to pounce. <laughs> Honestly don't 
I should be the last to know where all in this I stand alone. Show me where the ending goes. Honest, honestly, don't. I should be the last to know. love when the kitchen is like this all clean and tidy but trust me it, it doesn't last for too long so i'm just stepping back here to show you the wall color um, so we've repainted this in lick 03 which is one of the warm off whites and i'm really happy with the new paint as i said it is very subtle we already had an off white but i do just feel like it has warmed it up a little bit and also i always love to add in lots of wooden um, accessories and kind of natural textures to yeah warm it up and bring some life into it i've got a fresh basil plant over here i love basil so much um, I feel like you can actually add it to so many recipes. It's so nice. And this um, plant pot is from H&M. This little area here has also had a reshuffle. I've just added in a little photo frame here. And how nice is this print in there as well? Some cookbooks. And then also just pop some utensils in there. To be honest, a lot of things actually haven't changed. So I won't bore you with everything. I've got washing hanging up in there. And then over here, um, nothing new actually over here. This vase I've had for a little while. This was from a company called Rosie Wood Interiors, I think. Um, this little shell bowl as well, I've also had for a really long time. And I did have it in the living room, but I thought that it looked really nice as a bit of a fruit bowl. And yeah, I know, look at how green those bananas are. I wanted them to last all week. So I thought if I got the greenest bananas, they would last the longest. Also, the garden is in such a sorry state. I can't wait for it to warm up so I can get out there and clear all the dead plants and weeds and just like have a really thorough tidy up. That big bush needs cutting. Um, I just can't wait to make it all look nice again. And then on this little shelf up the top, I've just popped some mugs stacked with some candlesticks and that print as well. I've got a few different sizes of that print around the house and absolutely love it. So that is that little area. It's really hard to film this spot because where the light comes in behind it, it always makes this area super dark on camera. It is the evening now, sorry if you can hear the football in the background. Um, but I just wanted to show you something in our kitchen. So as you just saw, I had the main lights on. But in the evening sometimes, it just felt too much having the big lights on. And I just wanted under counter lights and this isn't something that we installed when we fitted the new kitchen um, nearly two years ago but i found a bit of an amazon hack it has been amazing and i'm so pleased with them so these little lights are um i bought them from amazon and you can charge them up and you can have them on on all the time off or auto so this like acts as a sensor so when you come close it turns on and they're magnetic on the back so you just stick a strip up there and then that literally sticks on and you've got under counter lighting and i've also got two on this side as well it creates such a softer atmosphere for the evening which i love so like if you wanted to come out here and if you're me make a hot chocolate you haven't got to like turn the big light on and feel like blinded by it they're bright enough to still really see um like what you're doing so i'll link those down below it is sunday morning today and it's mother's day um, and actually both of my parents have got covid um yeah so i'm not seeing them today they're actually both feeling really rubbish which is really sad i was supposed to have my parents and grandparents over for a roast dinner i was gonna cook for them today and um, so obviously as they're not coming um and i live a bit further away from my family like they were traveling to me so to save like my grandparents traveling i am going to i'm basically cooking the chicken this morning in the oven and then i'm taking the vegetables to my grandparents house so i can cook them fresh there for them i will eat with my grandparents and then i will take a dinner on a plate to my parents chicken's in the oven now i've got the washing machine on if you're wondering what that really high-pitched loud noise is um, but my battery died the other day so i didn't get to show you my new dining table um that actually i ordered way back last year probably in like i think it was like october or november 
and um, they're made to order and they had quite a long lead time so I waited for that and I've actually had it for a while like probably about a month or more than a month now um, but I just haven't got around to showing you so let me show you that next our new dining table which I'm so happy with and I spent so long looking for a table like this let me just lift that up so you can see it a bit better oh my god I just dropped on <laughs> I just tried on one of Bertie's toys did you think I was playing with you is that your chicken nugget it's a gorgeous reclaimed wood a-frame like it's quite a country style table the reason I wanted to change our dining table is because um on our old table, on the edge of the table, the legs came straight down and when people were trying to get in and out of here, it was really hard. You had to physically keep moving the table. Where the leg is like this, you can kind of scoot under it, if that makes sense. So I'm really, really happy with this. This is, the length is 1.8 meters on this. I, just, I don't know if these chairs go with the table. I'm gonna keep them for now. Um, I find sometimes when you're looking for a new piece of furniture, it really takes up so much time researching and looking around and I don't even know what I'm looking for. I don't know what style would work best with this. So for now, I'm just gonna keep these. They fit perfectly under there. Tom went off to football this morning. He sometimes plays football on a Sunday morning and his van has just like broken down on the motorway. Um, so he's called, this actually happened like about an hour ago. Um, and luckily with our bank, we get breakdown cover. Um, and the AA can't, the AA have so luckily been able to come out really quick and see him. Um, and he is being towed at home right now so yeah now we need to sort that out all throughout this vlog i've been talking about those new and spring pieces that i bought and i'm finally getting around to showing you now okay let's try some spring jackets on so first up is this gorgeous bomber jacket so obviously everyone's seen the zara jackets go completely viral everyone's got them as much as i love them like they're really really nice um I actually don't like having that piece that everyone's got because it just feels, for me, I kind of want to make my things a little bit different. So I really wanted a bomber jacket because we're going to see like bomber jackets on a whole are going to be really big over the spring and summer. But I wanted a slightly different one to one that everyone had. Um, so I found this one and it's from a company called... Marcella or Marcella, I don't know how you pronounce it, and it's um a, like a London boutique online. Um, I've never ordered anything from there before, but I actually found them on Instagram, and they had this stunning kind of like a boucle bomber jacket. Sorry about that. Um, Tom's van just got towed back, and I had to <laughs> sit in the van and what whilst they basically pushed the van on the drive and then i had to be in charge of pulling the handbrake up anyway i'm back um so yeah really really happy with this bomber jacket this is this was more pricier than my other jackets and that i've probably ever spent on a jacket before um but i really am happy with it the fit is lovely the quality is lovely and i feel like i'm gonna get a lot of wear from this next up is a little crochet cardi kind of jacket from zara and this is so so beautiful look at the detail on that it's absolutely stunning it's a really nice cropped length and i really love the edging detail on that i feel like that just finishes off so nicely the only thing i'm not sure in i don't know what i would wear over i actually think it looks really nice with what i'm wearing now but i do feel like i could be quite limited to what i wear this over so I don't know if I'm going to keep this. Like, it's so stunning. It's so beautiful. But when I keep something new, I always want to think about at least, like, three to four different ways of, that I can wear it. And I'm kind of struggling with this. I, I don't know what, what else I'm going to wear it with. 
So I'm not 100% sure on this. Let me know what you think below. As I said, as beautiful as it is, I just don't think that I'm gonna get enough wear to warrant keeping this. I've actually got quite a few Zara jackets here. I haven't shopped in Zara for ages, but I felt like they had some really nice little spring jackets. I love the gold buttons. I always wear gold jewelry, so things like that's really important to me because if they were silver buttons, I feel like they are really like this. This one is a size small. I did order the medium. I did order the medium as well, but I feel like actually this is this is big enough. I feel like this is quite oversized for a small. This is on the maybe pile, leaning towards a yes. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Right, I'm doing all of the Zara ones first. And, oh, this is, the lining on this is really cold. Um, okay, another bomber style jacket. Uh, this has got a nice little collar on here. Gorgeous, rich khaki green. And it's got these shoulder pads in, which I didn't expect it to have or didn't realize that it was gonna have. Um, cuffed sleeves, really nice detailing on the cuffed sleeves. This actually feels really premium and actually really, really nice for Zara. Zip front as well, and it's got a bit of fabric that sits over the zip. Finishes it off with that premium feel and makes the jacket look quite smart. Um, okay, so my hesitation with this jacket is the shoulder pads. I love an oversized blazer and I love a shoulder pad, but I'm just, but normally with a shoulder pad, in a blazer, the blazer is longer, um, whereas because this is, I feel like it kind of goes in like this, I'm feeling like, do the shoulder pads look too big? I really, really like the jacket and I don't want that to hold me back on it. I'm just worried that they look too big. I think I might be overthinking it. What do you think? Okay, moving on. So, you have already seen this jacket. This is what I wore to the Sky premiere in the week. I actually need to check on my Instagram story because I put a picture of this on my story and um, kind of opened it out to you guys with like a yay or nay for the jacket. There was more, more people said no than yes. But then actually, when I posted the reel of me getting ready for the um, premiere, um, I had loads of messages saying I said no to it initially, but actually now I've seen you styled it up and I've seen it in motion. I actually really like it. So I know, know what you mean. I feel like it is at first, you're like, whoa, is that a bit much? But actually, I think when you see it styled, I think it's really nice. And it's a nice statement jacket. I feel like you can wear something quite plain underneath, pop the jacket over and it instantly elevates it. It gives it some interest and it really just like takes the outfit up a notch. I nearly forgot to show you, it comes with a matching skirt. How amazing is that? This little mini skirt, which has got a split up the front. I'm gonna be honest, I'm being lazy, I'm cold. I'm not putting the skirt on. Um, I think it's, really cute together however for me I just don't think I would wear it as a set um I don't know what shoes I would wear with it I I don't really wear mini skirts um so yeah as cute as that is together like that would look so good together I just think personally for my style it's not for me but I just really wanted to order it to see what it was like and then finally we've got a trench coat I absolutely love a trench coat for spring. I think it is like my number one piece for spring. I really think it look, they look super chic. And again, it's a jacket you can throw over any outfit and you are good to go. Um, I'm actually going to Paris tomorrow and I was planning some of my outfits and for traveling, I wanted to wear some comfortable trousers. So I actually had some jogging bottoms on with a racer vest to like what I've got on now, my Birkenstocks and the trench, but the trench immediately just elevated it and took like jogging bottoms up a level so yeah if you haven't got a trench coat definitely get a trench it's the perfect time to get it now um yeah i wear mine so much through spring and obviously not so much in summer because it's a bit warmer but then definitely in the autumn again so this is a stunning sage green color i absolutely love pastels for spring and summer i love this tie detail with the fabric buckle it's a really gorgeous fit. I'm actually just gonna tilt you down to show you more. I've actually got my slippers on, um, but just to give you an idea of the length, I'm five foot four and that's coming right to my ankle. So it's a, it's a full length 
trench on me but obviously depending on how tall you are got a belt on as well so you can really like cinch in your waist oh, i just love a trench i just really really love a trench coat and as i said just adding a pop of color is so nice for the spring so those are all of the spring jackets i have ordered to try on so do let me know what you think which ones you prefer as i said the sizes and links will all be down in the description box i'm gonna wrap this vlog up here because i need to go and sort out all of my roasted preparations but I really hope that you have enjoyed this vlog thank you so much for taking the time to watch it and I will see you next week bye